<laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back to Bezler Frat here at Shira David. What a beautiful, beautiful day here in Eretz Yisrael. Oh, Hashem. Every day is a beautiful day, but today is a nice sunny day. <laughs> oh, Hashem. Okay, so um, we're going to continue our lessons in Lakut Halachas Bezrat Hashem, with Siyat Adeshmai, of course. Uh, we're learning Hilchas Birchas Hashachar, Halacha Hei, um, and today we're up to letter Samach Gimel. So it's a uh, Morning blessings um, five, and today we're up to letter sixty, number sixty-three. Right, and we learn again for the well-being of our chayalim and and uh, for the uh, cap, the rescue of our chitufim, the captives, and our kodesh baruch should uh, should help them all out and give them all the siyata deshmayin and be able to save them all and bring them all home. Amen. All these poor fellas that are out there. Away from their families, away from their and, and, all, and all the injured ones, the pizza. Wow. Okay. No, let the learning be a schos. Okay. So we were learning uh, right now. We were learning this uh, the idea of the of the pigeon, how we can connect to the rotson, right? I mean, if you think about it, Rav Nelson is teaching us is is something so remarkable. If we really take this to heart, really, how we can we all need we all need some kind of salvations in our life. There's nobody that doesn't need something. Everybody needs something. So if we understand really where the salvation comes from, all salvation comes from this place of Ratzon. From this place of Ratzon, everything, all self, all pigeon, all pig, any pigeon comes from that place. It's amazing to understand that. Right? It's the deepest of the deepest secret. Because everyone needs a Yeshua, right? Everyone needs something. We need salvation in our life. Right? Where's it gonna come from? From the Ratzon. Right from that place of Metzach or Rotzon, that high place. Like we keep learning about. It. What do you mean we all need salvation? You don't need anything. You don't need anything in your life. You don't need any uh, any uh, salvation. Any pro- everything is perfect. I'm happy. Oh, that's good. But you don't need you, you, everything is great. You don't need anything. Really? I mean, do I really need it? What do I really? I mean. Okay. I'm supposed to be happy with what we have. You can be happy with you like what you have, of course. Give me some. But, but let me ask something. Well, when you look at the world situation today, we don't Terrible. need to show, Okay. Are you, I, do, do, you live in this, do, do you live in this world? That's what they tell me. Okay, yeah. good. So if you live in this world, and the world is in shambles, so hey, great. Right? salvation. You need the salvation. World. That's right. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so, okay, so we were learning the, the, this idea. Now we're going to, now Rabbi Nassar is going to, is going to switch gears a little bit. And we're moving on to a Mishnah in Peya that we say every morning. Right? We're going to learn about things that we say every morning. Every day we say Birchas Torah, right? right? We, we say the blessings on the Torah every day. And then we say, Ko Yisavarcho Espinei Remember that? Ko Yisavarcho Espinei Yisro. We said that Ko is 25. The same way you have 25 in the, in the Shema Yisrael Hashem Elekeinu Hashem Echad, right? Job Nassim is moving along now. And then what do we say? Right? And we say that beautiful Mishnah from the, the Mishnah in, in, uh, in Peya. All right? So let's learn about the Mishnah now. Right? We talk, the Mishnah talks about there that there, are, that there are certain mitzvahs that have no measure. You can just do as much as you want. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, you can just keep doing it. Right, for example, there are certain things you could do, and and you and you and you're done, right? Like, let's say you have the mitzvah of of of, uh, of uh, the dalad minim, right? So you shake your dalad minim, and now it's done. That's it. You can't make the blessing again and do it again, <laughs> right? You did it. You did the mitzvah. It's done. But there are certain mitzvahs that you could just keep on doing again and again and again, and that's something such a such a beautiful beautiful concept, a beautiful beautiful idea that you could just keep on going on and on. And what are they? The mitzvah of peya. What's the mitzvah of peya? Leftover from the field. Wait a second. No, the, the peya is the corner. Corner of the field. Right, right. That shikacha is the leftover. Here's, this is not leftover. Here you're, you're leaving the corner, the corner of the field. You leave the corners of the field. Right? Again, Rabbi Nassim is talking about the corners of the field. Because again, the Shema Yisrael Hashem Elekeinu Hashem Echad. You have the four corners of the earth. Right? The four directions. So you pay us, you have the four, direct, the four corners of the field, you leave those over for the Yanir, right? All four corners? Yeah, you leave the payer, yeah. But only one corner. You, you could, again, ain't lo'ishir. 
So you could leave, yeah. minimum is one, minimum. you could leave four. Minimum. Right? You can leave four. Minimum is one. Right? Ba bikurim, right? The bikurim, the first choicest fruit, right? The bikurim was something so beautiful, right? It was a special mitzvah. Right? When you had your first fruits, right? The first olives, the first uh, uh, grapes, right? Whatever fruits you would grow, right? You would bring those, you would take them and put them in a beautiful basket, right? Everyone according to what they had, right? And they would bring it up to Yerushalayim. And it was a big, 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 big uh, festive uh, time. When they would come with Bikur, remember when they would close the stores and everyone would put on their, they would put on their, look at the fig, look at this beautiful fig, they would it, they would get a fig, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what they did, that's what they did. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Can you imagine, you come up, you bring the fig up, you should lie with it. Yeah, we learned about that. We learned, remember we said that? We said that it was, it's an amazing thing. When it comes to the, with, with the Bikurim, right? So the, the rich person comes and he brings, uh, let's say he brings a silver basket, right? So the Kayan takes the fruit out and gives him back his basket, right? But the poor person comes and he has like a wicker basket, right? He has a wicker basket, right? You know, with a straw, yeah. whatever they make it out. So the Kayan takes the basket and takes the fruit and doesn't give him back his basket. Why is that? Ah, ah, you know why that is? There's a, there's a lot of there's a, no, 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 no. There's a, there's, no, there's a lot of reasons for that. One, let's say we take the the rich person, right? So the rich person, let's think about it pr practically. He has he probably is not doing the work in his field himself. The rich guy, right? The rich guy probably has people out in the field working for him. Right, and he hires all the uh, you know the agricultural uh, the, the, the professionals that 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 that, that, that uh, know how to just water it just right and everything with the right minerals everything, and it's a, such a beautiful thing. So he brings that he brings that to Hashem, right? Okay, so it means something. Then eh, maybe you know. Okay, it's the first fruit, big deal. He didn't work on it. He didn't really. He didn't. Well, he did it all by himself. Wait, wait, wait a second. Yeah. So this brother says, okay, fine, you know what? Then he brings the silver basket, because he's a rich guy, brings a golden basket, right? Whatever he brings, right? So they say, they, they give it back to him, because Hashem says, I don't, I don't need that. I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I Hashem doesn't not necessarily appreciate that. Right? But the other guy, right, the poor guy, that was going up there with his family, right? Think about this now, right? And they didn't really have anything. So as they were going on the road, they would get uh, branches and find other things, right? As they were traveling, right? Either they were coming from south or they were coming from the north, right? they were traveling, right? So they'd find different branches, different things, and they would make a basket. And it would be a, a beautiful thing, right? The kids would all get to do this, and it would be a beautiful thing. It was something so chaviv, it was something so precious to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And another thing was, his fruit didn't always look so nice. His fruit, the other's fruit, maybe didn't look so nice. Why? Because he didn't, you know, have all the science behind his fruit. So, 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 the, other, so, the, so the rich person, is, he's online, right? He's online with his bikur, right? So the rich guy, oh, look at that, look at that beautiful grape. Ooh, wow, look at that olive. Ooh, this is the, the fig. Wow, wow, what a fig, right? And the other's saying, oh, no, I hope he doesn't open up mine. <laughs> <laughs> right? So the client takes the basket with the fruit, everything, and he, and he, he, he spares the honey. <laughs> and then others say, that's how you see in the Torah that the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. <laughs> you know, they say that the rich get richer and the poor get poor, right? Because he gives back the silver to the... He gets the silver back. The rich gets richer. And the poor guy gets... The rich guy brings the wicker basket. No, that, 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 he wouldn't do that. He's, he has to. He's <laughs> yeah, he can bring. Okay, listen, anyone can bring. You can, it didn't matter here. The rich guy could have brought a wicker basket. But again, he wants to get richer, so he doesn't want to do that because then he'll think, you know. <laughs> okay, that's not the point. You understand? The point so the, so the mitzvah of Bikurim, you can bring as many as you want, right? In other words, if you have a big, big field, right? So you can bring as many, many first ones as you want. There's no, no, no shear. You can bring as much as you'd like. But the minimum is what? One from the whole field? Yeah, well, you're supposed to bring at least one, yeah. The same thing with the payer, right? To bring one. Can make a yellow regga with one little olive from Well, there. listen. <laughs> but that's why the Mishnah says, aim no shear, right? To bring as much as you want. Bring as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? 
okay, the first ones, but on the tree, there's a lot of first ones. A lot of trees. He's there's a lot of trees. trees. He's saying the first one in the field. He has a big know. orchard. He has a big orchard. Shalom, he has a big orchard. So you can take the first one of each tree. You can take the first one. <laughs> Right, he could have a lot of grapes, right? Who knows? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, and then the mitzvah of uh, uh, Orion, right? The, the, the Ria, we go up to, go up to Yerushalayim and see the base of Middash, right? Go as much as you want. Go as much as you want. That's what the Mishnah says, right? On Ramadan. Oh, Everything's going here. You have to mention that stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yemach Shema Mezichra. Yeah, I see that. No, I'm telling you, look at it. It's always, it's a mamish, mamish, it's elu, right? Zeluma ze likib. Hashem keeps everything balanced, right? Yeah. This is so great. So he puts the other thing on the other side. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, Gemilas Chasadim, right? Right? We're doing kindness to people, right? Gemilas Chasadim. There's no shia. Do as much as you can. Do as much chesed as you can for people. Right? Oh. Right? The Talmud Torah. Uh, and of course, Talmud Torah, that's the one, and, and we say, we end off with the Talmud Torah, can they get kulim, right? And learning Torah is the greatest thing, right? Because all these things bring you to the rotsa. Right? Think about it, right? When you leave your pay, when you leave the pay over the, the corner of the field, why are you doing that? The Torah tells me to do that. Right? So I'm connecting to the rotsa. Why am I taking my first fruits to the base of Middash? I want to connect to Hashem. Right? <coughs> Why am I looking at the base of Middash? Why do I come to see Ria? I want to see the grandeur of Hashem because I want to be connected to Hashem. And when you learn Torah, of course, you're connected to Hashem. Chesed, you connect. Oilem Chesed, Yibana. Hashem made the world with Chesed. So when I do Chesed, we're partnering up with Hakadosh Baruch Hu, right? And of course, and of course, Talmud Torah. Is uh, is the is is uh, we 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 say the kuchibricha rice of Yisrael kul echad right the kadosh baruch with the Torah and the Jewish people are one. So the most natural thing for a Jewish person to do is to learn Torah because then he's connecting back to Hakadosh Baruch Hu because Hashem the Jewish soul the the Hashem and Hakadosh Baruch Hu is really one. So that's the, that makes okay. Any questions on this? We understand this so far. Okay. Okay. The main thing we learned is Ratzon, right? How much will I have? My desire, my will. To do the will of Hashem, right? That's the main thing. Because again, what we accomplish is not necessarily up to us. It's up to Hashem what we're going to actually accomplish. But I, it's upon me, it's upon me to have the desire. It's upon me to have the will. Uh-huh. Uh, good morning, Yanif. Right? And through this, that through this, you'll be zochet to have Torah, right? Because again, if you have the rotzen, Hashem, you're connecting to Hashem, of course, you'll eventually come to have Torah. The whole tov and all goodness. Right? All over, Rabbi, Na, Rabbi, Rabbi Nachman's teachings, all through his teachings, he always is teaching us that Ratzon is the most important thing, right? Based on the stories of Tzipur Yimaisiyas, the teachings in Sikha Saran, right, is our Ratzon. I want to be better. I want to be better. I want to get closer to Hashem. That's the most important thing. Because we're going to always, we're going to have our ups and downs in life. But if I desire, if I know that this is my, that's on the forefront of my mind, <coughs> that I always want to be closer to Hashem, right? That means I'm always thinking about Hashem, right? That's, that's the main point. Because then you'll always be protected, because you're always thinking about Hashem. Okay. These are all these things that we mentioned in the Mishnah, in Peya, huh? All these things, why are they there? They all bring you to this aras haratzon, to this awareness, to this awareness of Hashem's presence in the world. You recognize Hashem, right? You recognize the Rabbi Yisrael, right? Where did the truth come from? Well, I have this field. Wow, how is this? I, ha- I have this field. Hashem, you gave me land? I have a piece of, of a chalik in Eretz Yisrael? Wow, right? You think, it's all to remind you how great, how great the situation, how our Kaddish broke, how great Hashem is in the world. 
And therefore, there's no measure. You can do as much as you want. Right? Leave that corner over in the field. I'll give you another one. Leave the corner a little bigger. <laughs> right? Hey, you want to know about the corner? Let that corner be a little bigger. Right? Put a second corner. Let the corner be... It doesn't have to be the minimum. Make it a little bit bigger. Ain't like sheer. I can make more my field the corner. Right? Or you can make your field in a way that has a lot of corners. You know, not just a rectangle. I mean, you only have to have one. I know, but if you want... Yeah, you want to have more? Have more. more. Have more. more. Bigger guy, corner. If the guy gives his whole field, is he actually pay out? Or it's, now he's no, 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 no. So that, that's a different thing. That's not, that's not the mitzvah of payer. And like we said, like, like Shalom said the other day, if the guy says, hey, I want to be Mekai in the midst of Shechacha. <laughs> he can't. Because of the field. No, Shechacha is when you, when you were packing oh, your bundles, you can't do it and you left, you, let's say you had, you, had, you had ten bundles. You can't do it on purpose. And, and you leave, and, and you picked up nine, and you left. And you, oh, there's one left. Oh, I have to leave that there. Uh, if it's in a bundle, it's not Shechacha. No, there's a bundle too, yes. The Leket, Leket is if it's loose. Shikha is if there's a bundle. Really? Yeah. Well, the mitzvah of leket is if you drop the straw, then you leave that. That you leave, right? Then there's another mitzvah of shikha. Even if you, if you leave a big bundle, you A bundle, yeah, leave, leave the bundle. bundle. Yeah. Once you forgot it, it's done. Shikha. <laughs> and then you should have left it on purpose because you wanted to do shikha. But then, then, that, that, then, 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 then it's not that, no, that's not something else. It's not that mitzvah. Yeah, the mitzvah is if you, if you genuinely forgot it. Then you can't go, and you remember it, you can't go take it back. You shouldn't, you can't take it back, right, right. But, no, but, but you can't do it purposely. That's the hardest thing in the field. You want to go on, you're making bundles, and you're left in the field, then you come by with your wagon, and then you pick them all up. Yeah. That that's right, that's shikha, that's shikha. Right? That's what we said. You had ten bundles, you picked up, and you, the, the one, and you only had nine. You see, I only had nine in my way. Hey, well, what happened here? <laughs> okay. Because the Ratzan of Kedusha, my will to get closer to Hashem, of sanctity, to get close. there's no shear. There's no measure. I can always want to get better and closer and closer to Hashem. Like we learned yesterday, we were learning about the tzaddikim, right? Yosef. Moshe and David, right? Yosef is teaching the guy that's on the, on the right path to always want more, to want more. Increase your, you can't stay dormant. You can't stay in neutral. You have to go forward. You have to keep going up. That's Yosef, right? We said Moshe Rabbeinu is there, right? Moshe Rabbeinu is there from anyone that fell off the band. He fell off the wagon, right? He fell to Shmad. So Moshe Rabbeinu picks him up from Shmad, brings him up to Ratzon. David Amelech is there for the guy that never even got started. But he's there and he helps that person out too. That's David Amelech, right? Because oh. David Amelech also had trouble getting started in his life, right? With people and everything, right? Okay. Because okay. this helps every person, no matter what level there are in the world, anyone, any Jew, any Jew in the world, this will help them to always have their rotsen. Right, if the guy, if, if you have a, a big tzaddik that learned through, uh, learned through, uh, he learned through kola Torah Kula, right? You had Rav Chaim Kanievsky, right? Zeich tzaddik, brothers, right? So he was here. He had a tzaddik that every year, erev Pesach, he made a, he made a, uh, no, it was erev, oh, no, it was erev, uh, 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 well, no, no, it was Purim, erev Purim. He would make always a, a siyum on kola Torah Kula. He made a siyum on the whole Torah. He made a siyum on the whole. Oh, we have a Chaim Kanievsky. used to make a seal on all of Torah every year. What the Tanakh, the Shas, the Shas, Paiskim, Zoy, everything, everything, <laughs> everything, everything, everything in one year, in one year. But but when but, but, but he, so so even so one second. So the, so even a great Sadik like that, he always had to always have the ruts and also I want to do it. I want to learn more. I want to know more. I want to learn it deeper, right? Every time you learn something, you see it in a deeper way. You see something else that you didn't see before. So he wants to see that, right? And then the guy, and in all levels, I'm just showing you, he works on the highest level. And of course, the lowest guy, the guy that's mamish in the, in the dumps, right? So of course, he needs to have the rutsun in order to get him out, right? He needs to have the rutsun to pull him up, right? To brush himself off. Ki afilu mi shehu b'madrega pechusa me'oid me'oid. Because 
Because no matter where you are, no matter how low the person is, no matter what he's fallen to, if he has the rutzen to get closer to Hashem, which means he connects to Pidyan, right? You understand how it works, right? Rutzen means you connect to the Metzach HaRutzen. You connect to Pidyan. And if he gets his Pidyan, no matter where he is, he can always get out. You understand the system, how it works? There's talking about in here about desire. The yeah, Ratzon is desire, yeah. yeah. Ratzon will, the, re, to have the will, the desire will is the same thing. I desire something, I will something, right? You get bent to that shape on, the, on, their, on their translation. Well, it's like negative, you're saying it's a negative word? Desire. No, desire is good, no. no. Desire is good, I'm just trying to think of what do they mean by... I'm, expl- I'm trying, oh, no, to, expl- no, no, I'm trying I, to explain I, 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 it to you. I, 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 if you have the ruts and the will, the desire, the, the, the want, I want to get closer to Hashem, right? I want to be closer to Hashem. Isn't desire normally like connected more to taivas? No, but you can have a, a, a good desire too. Can you be used yeah. in a positive way also? It doesn't have to be negative. And holy desire has no limit. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Holy will and holy wanting has no limits. It's all the same, right? And like we said, the great tzaddikim, they have to have a rotsin also in order to keep them going. Everyone has to keep, keep, keep being motivated. Right? What's the motivation? The rotsin. Rotsin is the motivation. That's how you motivate yourself. The desire, will, want, Getting closer to Hashem, that's how we can all be, that's how we can all. Ki lugdu lasai ein chaykeh. As David HaMelech says, ki lugdu lasai ein chaykeh. Because how great Hashem is, there's no end. You can, there's no matter, no matter what level you're on, you can always try to get closer because Hashem is, 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 is unlimited. Is, uh, the NASA, the company of the space, they built, NASA. they built a new, like, telescope. Yeah. Like, say, 80 meters long, and it could like see Ki'ilu, like till the end of the universe. But yeah. Yulato, they never saw this. Ain't 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 you get the one Gagichol. They can't get to it. They can only see within the world. They can, they're only, listen, there's seven firmaments, right? They're still only with them in the first one. <laughs> right? There are seven firmaments, right? Zion Rakia. Right. So they're still in Rakia, the first one. one. They're in the first one. <laughs> Doesn't even see the whole. It doesn't even see the first one. Ain't cheker. Ain't cheker. What? There are, there are, there are, what do you mean? There's limit. What do you mean limiting? That's what Chazal tell us. Well, that's there's, just the Zion Rikia. No, that's just that's just that's in just creation. That's just in, in creation. Then, then that's and then you have the old. Then, then you go to the next world. Right then, you, then you go to the world of Yitzira. Then you go to the world of Bria, and you have seven within each one. And then you get that silos above Atzilus well, is Hashem himself. That's Hashem. That's yeah, right. But but Hashem is Ein Chayker, right? That's all within creation. But Hashem is Ein Chayker. Okay. Okay. Now Rotzon who bechinas Ein Shia. Therefore, now Rav Nosson explained to us that the Rotzon I can never have enough desire, enough will, enough wanting to get closer to Hashem. I always have to want to get closer, more, I want to get closer to Hashem. And then again, anything that goes on in our life, right? Any problems, any bumps we have in the road, if I, uh, my goal is, I want to get closer to Hashem, it's much easier not to get, in, 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 in get entangled in the nachash, right? In the other side. It's, it's very much easier when I know what my goal is. To get to Hashem. Right, right. You know, you're trying to get somewhere, you need to get somewhere in a, in a, in a hurry, Right. So then on the way, people, you're, you're running quick, you're going, and people bother you, I gotta, 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 gotta go, I gotta go. Right, you ever happen to you? You're trying to, you're, you're trying to get somewhere, and people are stopping you on the way, never had that, never happened to you? Not in Israel. Not in Israel? <laughs> <laughs> He's joking. I'm just kidding. Okay, no, 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 so, but when you know I gotta get there. It happens every morning. What's that, when, when, I, when I have to get there, you just, you go. So you're saying that the people bothering you are the nachash? No, I'm just giving an example. 
well, then in your day, in your day, all things happen, right? You get a you get a text message, you get this, you get an email, you get someone calls you, this and that, all these things. But I got to get closer to Hashem. It's so nice when you're driving if you're at a stoplight and it changes and you, you're not paying attention. Somebody reminds you. They remind you before you remind you before it right. Oh boy, do they remind you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do that in America. No. Not where I'm from. <laughs> no, they do in New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's from Not the nice country. <laughs> Not in St. Louis. Not in St. No, but in Not New York and New Jersey, yeah, they'll, they'll, <laughs> they so, make a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean, getting closer? Does that mean we know more of Hashem than what we know right now? I want to get, I want to get, I want to, I want to develop my relationship with Hashem. That's what it means. I want to get a, a closer relationship with Hashem. Right? A closer relationship. Look at this. Every day, you have to have new, new, new desire, new wanting, new willing of Hashem. Every single day. Every day. Because every day we have a new chilek on the Shema, right? We got back on the Shema, came back, right? We have that chilek on the Shema that came to us today. They won't be here again tomorrow. Right? We have another chilek on the Shema comes, right? Every day we get a new Chela Kadashama that's never going to be in the world again. Really? Yeah, so that's why every day you have to do the most you can, have as much Ratzon as you can each day because you want to fill up that, that Chela, right? What do you mean he won't be? He doesn't stay with us? The example, the example I, I can give you is that I thought about is, you know, you have a, 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 a tall stack of those sticky pads. You know the sticky paper, the stickets? You know, there's like a little yeah, yeah, stack, yeah. right? So each one, you take one off, right? Each one has really nothing to do with the other one, but they're all connected. Right. Oh. Right? They're all connected, right? Every day you get another chilek on the from that pad. Clean pads, a clean sheet every day. Now what are you going to do with that sheet? Are you going to fill it up with Torah, with mitzvahs, closeness to Hashem? Or Chas Shalom is the person going to scribble all over that piece of paper that day? Right? Is he going to make something beautiful of it? Right, and that's why Chazal give us the opportunity before we go to sleep. Right, you do Kriya Shema Lamita. Right, so you're trying to make a Chesh Ben Nefesh. Right, you're supposed to do that every day. Why? Because I got to fix that. Uh, I got to make sure that little piece, of, that little song. note, that little packet that I'm sending upstairs is it perfect? Whoa. Right. You ever, you ever write a note? You're a sofa, right? So you're writing. You have to make sure everything is mamish perfect. Right. Right. You want to? You have to check. You have to fix it. Right. Oh, I'm not a perfect sofa. But, but you uh, try, but you but, understand but the concept. I'm close to no, 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 but, but you understand the concept. You want it to be, you want it to be just right, right? Yeah. So I every day before that, we yeah. go to sleep, we, we make we do we do our Kriya Shema Lamita, and we make a Cheshvan and Nefesh, right? We make a, we make an accounting of the day. And where I didn't get close to Tashem, I want to fix it. Right? Before we send in the Shema. Right? And that we know we're going to sleep sleep is the sixtieth of death, right? And then the Shem Hashem sends back the Neshama, right? Shechazata bi Nishmasi. Right? Hashem, you sent me back my Neshama today. Right? The Neshama went on a trip. So, so, the, so the main Neshama comes back and it has a new part every day? It, there's many Chalukei on Neshama. There's many, many Chalukim of the Neshama. The Balatanya explains and the, 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 but that... But I'm saying, a guy only has the same Neshama through his life. Yeah, but, yeah, but there's different parts of the Neshama. Different sections of the Neshama. Shem is big. You look, the Balatanya says like this. When you're saying Shema Yisrael, because we're talking about Shema Yisrael, right? So he says, when you say Shema Yisrael, right? So he says, you may, be, you may be all by yourself. You may be, you know, in your car. You may be in your basement, right? In your attic, right? And you're screaming out Shema Yisrael. Who are you talking to? I mean, if you're in if you're in a group of people and you scream Shema Yisrael, okay, here Jews, here everyone, here, here, listen to what I'm saying, right? But who are you saying? Shema Yisrael, listen. What, what does Shema Yisrael mean? Listen, Israel. Right? Yeah. So so he says, so who are you talking to? So you Israel. know what the Balatanya says? Israel. He says, he explains from the Zayah that you're talking to your Chelek Shama that's called Yisrael. We have a Chelek Shama that's up on high. That's called Yisrael, no matter what your name is, okay? <laughs> you have a chilek on the that is a part of your soul that's up on high is called Israel. Yisrael, up on high. The chilek on the we have down here, the part of the shama we have here is called Yaakov. Yaakov, right? Yaakov, Yisrael, right? That's down here, right? 
So when you say what the Balatanya explains is when you say Shema Yisrael, you're saying to yourself, listen to what my Chelik Hanesham on high is saying. Whoa. Listen to Yisrael. Listen to me. Listen to my Neshama. What's my Neshama telling me? Hashem Elakeinu. Oh, oh. Yudke Vavke, the shame of Chesed, is Elakeinu. Wow. I'm thinking over here in the world, wow, there's so much terrible things going on. It's Hashem and then all this bad stuff. No, no, no. Hashem Elakeinu. It's really Hashem. And then Hashem Echad. He's one. It's one. You understand? There's so much of our Neshama, we have no idea. No idea. But we're learning every day. But that's not the, but the point is, every day we got to be mechazik our rotsam, Right? We don't have to worry about all of that stuff. Right? All we know is every day, we have as a new day, as a brand new day, we learn so much about that. Right? Right? Every day is a brand new day. And every day we have to be mechazik our rotsam, Every single day. Because each day I want to have a new Ratzon, and every day Hashem puts us in new, new different things, right? We never do the same. People, people, people meet different people every day, right? Different situations, right? You get different things in the mail, you get different emails and different things every day. How do you find Hashem in each thing every day? This is what we're learning, right? How do you find and connect your daily, the, the things that occur during the day on, the, on, the, on, your, on a daily basis, how do you connect all those things back to Hashem? That's how you can get the Ratzah. Right? Connect everything to Hashem. Bretzonis chazokim chadoshim l'Hashem is And every day, everything is new. Right? It's a brand new day. Right? New, new connections, new people, you meet new things, Right? So that every day has to be something chadash, because the situations are always new every day. You see that? Kemay she kasavnu mizeh harbe sham behilchas arev. Right? Is we're going we're to learn a mitzvah Hashem. We learned this concept also in Hilchas Tefillin. We learned this idea of everything is new. We all this concept of Nasan is going to go through all through Lakut Alachas. Wants to keep us understanding that every day we're new people. Why? Because if I understand I'm new today, then no matter what happened to me yesterday, I'm new today. So I have nothing to do with yesterday. So yeah, if I messed up... The still pounding me with, this, with I the old bite that he gave me I yesterday. understand, I understand, but now you know. That so tell him. The is the same one that he gave me last yes, year. Yes, yes, yes. He's, he's constantly trying to remind you of the bite. Yes, yes. So how could I be so new? No, no, but you knew, so you tell him, listen to me. Listen, you say to the nach, you say to your, the, the nachash, you say to him, listen, I'm new today. So yeah, I made a mistake back then. You're right. Okay, okay. I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. Right? We have a spite to this. That's what his boat is about, right? You tell Hashem all your trials and tribulations, right? You spend, you speak to Hashem. Hey, remember that time I got bitten by the snake, Hashem? Hey, I'm sorry about that, right? Right? And then in this by this, you have to understand when you do a spite this, this body is only to lift you up, right? This body is supposed to lift the person up. That's what this body is supposed to do. So if you if you if you bring up something from before, and now you're talking about it, and it's bringing you down, put it aside. Change the sabi. You're not ready for it yet. You understand? What in the is? Yeah, you're doing your body. This right. The whole point of his body is to lift you and bring you closer to the rots and Hashem. Right? That's the whole point of his body, to bring you closer to Hashem. So if you, if you remembered something that you didn't like in your life, right, something that you, you weren't happy about, right, and now you start talking about it, and now you see it's bringing you down. So you right? you say, see it's putting you in a bad mood. It's you putting you in... Bodhidus, you only say things that make you up. No, 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 you, no, you have to deal with everything, and you'll have to fix it eventually. But if you're not ready for it, you have to work on it, to be ready for it, to talk about it, to recognize that Hashem really put me through that test. He put me through that test to put me, to bring me where I am today. But the person may not be ready for it at that time. You understand? If you realize that husband is supposed to lift me up, if it's not for lifting me up, I'm speaking about something that's uncomfortable. So put that thing aside. I'm not saying you don't have to deal with it. You have to deal with it, but you're not ready to deal with it yet. But you will have to, you know, you, we have to make sure we deal with all of those things, right? Eventually, we have to make sure we deal with all of those things because we don't want to meet Hashem after 120 and we're upstairs and then we have to deal, if we, if we dealt with all of the things in this world, 
right? So then we know the concept of no double jeopardy, right? <laughs> right, right, right. If there's a right. din, if there's a din here, there's no din upstairs, and there's no din down here, then they got a lot of din upstairs, right? So you might be always better off judging yourself, right? Mm. You're always better off judging yourself because you'll probably be a little nicer, you know. <laughs> Depends. Sometimes you're not. Well, okay, but but if you if you if you're doing if you're judging yourself with judging Hashem, yourself. right, with with Hashem, so then that's yeah. a, that's a that's a wonderful thing, all right. So that's the point here: is every day to be mechazik the rotz and got it, guys. You understand? That's the whole point, right? And there's no end. There's no end. That's why he brings the mission and payer, right? When it comes to the when it comes to the payer, the bikurim, the Orion, right? When it comes to what you leave over, how much you leave over. I want to leave one, two, three, four corners. I want to leave more of a corner. No shear. Do whatever you want, right? When it comes to when it comes to the bikurim, right? If I have twenty five trees, I can bring the first uh, olive, the first thing of all my trees, right? I can have I can have I can have fig trees. Olive trees, I can have a grape, a vineyard, right? So I can collect all the first fruits from all of them and bring a, a beautiful fruit basket. Tarkadis Marzal, right? You can bring something beautiful, right? And then what? The Cohen eats it or? It, it goes to the bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Yeah. It was a, it was a beautiful. Uh, I'm still waiting. You're going to get it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. <laughs> You're not dominating hard enough. <laughs> You know, but right, you can, you can bring a beautiful fruit basket, right? You know, like people, they, they want to send a fruit platter to someone. They want it to be really, really nice, kishmak, right? <clears throat> you don't want to send a, a fruit platter with two things in it, right? It's not going to be very so nice. I should get some baskets and start handing them out to people. No, 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 they have to bring their own basket. Yeah. You don't give them the basket. Well, you can do that, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> There's no <laughs> shear. People have to plant the trees first. Yeah, yeah, well, there are plenty of trees. Yeah, you the base of Mikdash, yeah. where you want to get the grain, no? Mm -hmm. There's no big grain without the base of Mikdash. Okay, soon, soon. Hey, hey, hey. Baskets? We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working, some, we're working on it. Okay. Chipping the stones up there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, let, let's go, let's go on. Okay, we got this concept, guys. We got, okay. That's really the main thing that you brought the, the, the Bikurim for. Uh, the Shiva Saminim are things that when you make your Alamichya, if you ate one of those things, you make the alamichya for, right? The shiva samina, right? That's what, yeah, that's, yeah. No, but, but you could have brought other things also. There was the main mitzvahs with that. But if you had other things, if you had oranges, you could bring an orange too. They wouldn't, they wouldn't turn it down. If you had a nice orange, why can't you bring an orange? A nice apple, right? The question is, is the right uh, only... No, no, I understand, but again, there's no shear. There's no shear. So the main mitzvah is with this, but I can always add on. I can add some more fruit on. Yeah, yeah. You can always add more. Uh, the main mitzvah is with that. Lala koyin, and the main thing is that you give the bikurim to the koyin. And the peya is for the aniyah, right? The peya was for the, for the koyin, the, the priest. You gave him the fruit. And then the, and then the peya, the corner of the field you left over, you left that over for the aniyah, right? For the poor people. Right, you can knock down the metzach anochas, right? Because we learned that um, last week when we were learning the parts of of, uh, of truma, right? Then we had no, 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 no. Last week we had the the mitzvah of machzus hashekel, right? Kisi, right? We had the mitzvah of kisi. So we had the mitzvah of machzus hashekel. So the whole point was that the ani can't give more. And the poor person can't give less, right? Because again, the main thing is because again, the ani he he may feel he may feel that he's very uh, 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 hoardy, right? See, I have so much, and what I have to only give a half a shekel. Come on, man. I'll give you here. Here, take a thousand shekel. Nothing, right? The ani has millions. Can't of shekel. He, can't. he can't. He can't. He can't. To, to knock it, to push him, to take away his, to take away his gaiva. He can only give a half a shekel, and the ani. As the as the as the as the another psula, he feels so humble because. Uh, but he he feels. But he's upset at Hashem. Why you got so much and I don't have anything, right? 
He can only give half a shekel to the base of Mikdash, the Kolonim, but he can give him. But the mit, right, he can give as much as he wants. No, but for that, that mitzvah, 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 there's a shear on that mitzvah. Right? Right, We're learning right, about the mitzvah, there's right, no shear. Right, the tzedakah right. give as much as you want. But that right. mitzvah had a shear. It was only a half a shekel, right? right? So again, so the, so, 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 the, so the point was the rich person was to, was to calm down his, his, uh, his, uh, his arrogance, right? And the, 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 the poor person was to, to lift him up. Well, to show him that he's like the usher. He's like, I, we're all giving the same thing. We're all equal. We're equal. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. Same thing. And, and what did they use? And what did they use the the machzah shekel for in the Mishkan? For the adanim, the the the, the uh, those uh, posts that hold that held up the amudim, right? Oh. Right. They used the silver. They melted, but the, uh, Moshe Rabbeinu melted down that silver, and he made those. Uh, they look like they look like cinder blocks, right? You know the amud, the, the, the yeah. right? The adanim look like cinder. What? Sorry. Sake. So it looked like a cinder block. Where do you think they got the idea to make a cinder block? From the Adanim, right? Right, because the, 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 the um, uh, what do you call it? Each one of the Amudim had two feet. Right, each one of them had two po- two, two, two uh, 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 um, beams sticking out of it, right? And it stuck on, on to one, uh, one of the Adanim into the other one. And then said he, and he, 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 he uh, they all stood. So they only understood the only understood that, wow, look at that. See that I'm part of the foundation of the Mishkan. Right? Without the foundation, the foundation is where it's all at, right? You can have all the beautiful things inside, but if you don't have a good foundation, it'll fall down. Right? Right? The foundation. The only is like the usher, exactly. Same thing. Equal. When it comes to the foundation, when it comes to the, when it comes to the, let's say, the, making the menorah, so the only could, the rich, the rich person can give a lot more gold, Right? He could have done more, but when it came to the foundation of the Mishkan, it was all the same. All right? Okay. Lahagbir, Aras Metzah Harotzan, to lift up the Metzah Harotzan. We want to always, we said on, on one side, on the, on the holy, the side of Kedusha, you have the Metzah Harotzan. On the other side, the Zelazu Umazeh, Osalikim, you have the Metzah Hanachash, right? Same idea. We said we had Metzah Isha Zaina, right? We brought down, right? The Metzah Isha Zaina, Metzah Hanachash, right? That's on that side, the two. Right, Metzach Hanachach is the higher one. Metzach Yitzchazayin is the lower one. Metzach Harotzayin is the higher one on the side of Kedusha. The Zer Anpin, the Metzach Hata, is the is the lower one. Okay, same idea. Kipeya v'abikurin tzrichin litein takev ba'ascholah shel atvua. And when it came to when when it came to uh, uh, peya and the bikurim, right? As soon as the tvua started to grow, kipeya noisnim be'es hakatzir takev. You give it right away when they have the pay, when, he, when, he, when you're starting to harvest, right? So you section off that section in the field, right? That section of the field, you section it off. Immediately. That's it, immediately. Immediately. Before you even take the rest of the stuff. You go over to the corner, you sec, cordon this off. We're not taking it from this section. You do that right away. It's amazing, right? I mean, Mitzvah Shem, we're going to get to do these things, right? I Mitzvah mean, Shem, we're going to see these things in, on our day, right? Amen. Okay, v'chein bikurim shenoisnim takev ki shemaschal apri lehis lehis bacha. Sigazon, sigazon. Okay, as soon as the fruit starts to come in, right? As soon as that comes in, you just take it right off, take it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take and you, this is my fruit. This is my fruit. This is my fruit. Unbelievable, right? That's the whole idea of haschalas hatzdaka, connecting the bringing the the beginning, setting aside the tzedaka right away. Haschalas at the beginning. Shayadei zeh zoichin leratzon. Through that you get the ratzon. So in those people take their money right and before they start come to shul, they have their money set aside for that tzedakah, right? They want to set it aside. It's the haschola setting it up is in a beautiful, like beautiful the, idea. I was right? in the store the other day. I was like, Hashem, help me make a sale. And then I remembered the breast of Torah, like that you're supposed to think about stuff. I was like, Hashem, help me make a sale so I can give the stuff up. But I really said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, I made a sale. Like chicha. Like a dance. Wow, 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 wow. You see that? You can't do it again. You can't keep on testing Hashem. No, no, no. When no. it's real, when it's Amiti. No, but Hashem says with Tzedakah you can test him, right? No, but when it, it, yeah, I understand. When I, said, I understand. When I said Hashem so I can give the Tzedakah, I was like, really on that Indian that I'll give my 10%? Yeah, yeah. And right away, I don't know like how many minutes, how long, and some guy came, boom, like I was shocked. Amazing. He's like, huh? how much is that? 
I'm going out. Came back. Cash. 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 Wow, 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 wow. See, I mean, man. It's not... Uh, Okay, I'm talking talk. about a lot of money. It doesn't but, matter, yeah. but, it's, but you see, sardines, you're diving, you, know? you made a deal with Hashem, and you saw, sardines, you saw sardines, us, uh, that came from Rotson. That came from the Metzach HaRotson. Chicha, boom, Metzach Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what Nassim told us. All opinion comes from that place. All Every Yeshua comes from that place of Metzach HaRotson. Anytime you get it, you connect to that place. It's unbelievable. Now I'm a little confused. Why are you confused? Because... You talk about Ratzon being a place. However, Ratzon is also it's our desire to have a relationship. Yes, with yes, them. yes, 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 yeah, yeah. It's, it's all of one. Yeah. It's all, so when we you are, want to yeah. connect to the place of Metzach Ratzon, which is the highest, highest place, much further than the NASA's uh, telescope can see, right? Much, much, much higher, right? So Look, when we dive in, when we dive in, right? When we dive in, we start our feel right in the morning. So we start off and we start and we start off saying the brachas, right? And we start off saying karbanos. We're in the olam asiya, right? Then we go to when we go to hodu, right? So we leave with, with that kaddish, right? We make that kaddish. Amen yesh marabba. It shoots us up to the next world. We go to the world of yitzira. We go past the seven firmaments. We go higher than that, right? Then the shama. That's who we are. And then when we go to the, we have the next kaddish with baruch Hu, right? Brings us to the olam habriya. Yeah, and then when I say when I say go al Yisrael, I say go al Yisrael. That's what my my shoots me up to the world of Atzilut every day. You ever realize that you're traveling first class every day? And then you go back down afterwards, and you're, you're descending, right? That's why the trip you, back. Why do you have to go back down? Oh, because you 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 go up to Hashem and you ask Hashem for all those beautiful things you need, right? Now yeah, Hashem gives you all the packages, you know. To bring them back down. No, you ever know, like when you go to the mall, so right? You go, wait, what's you a, you, you, when you go to the mall, I don't know, whenever I go to the mall, my wife, I have a lot of bags. <laughs> she figures it out. I have no idea. So you're saying you have to bring it back down? No, so don't, no, no, no. I always think, I always think that's my bags. I'm always thinking like this. That's my bags when I go up to Hashem, mm -hmm. right? In the Olam Look, Hashem gives me all my packages, right? He gives me all my packages. But now, but now, like, uh, I have to bring my packages down to I have it down here, right? Nice. Like you have to get your packages home. Right? Nice. You're in the mall, you got to bring your bags home, right? <laughs> you don't want to get robbed on the way, right? Right? You don't want to get robbed on the way. So that's in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the real world. When you're up in the Ola Matzilis, you're going to go through the other worlds, right? So you have to pass all those judges. Right? You have to pass all those, all those roadblocks, right? So I, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I connect it to Hashem, and then I, when I say that, and that's why we say the Tachnun right after. Because I'm saying, if I had any problems, right, think about it. You ever know, think about why I say Tachna right after Shmon Esrei? I'm still in the Ola Matzilut. Right? So now I say Tachna. Right? I say Tachna there. Why do I say Tachna? Hey, Hashem, I'm sorry for all these things. Hey, I want to fix all of these things. So I don't get stopped. Are you still in Matzilut and Yeah, yeah. No, that, again, don't you understand? Shmon no, 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 no. But, I, but I'm, 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 I'm starting, I'm, I'm already now at the Border Patrol. Right? I'm at Border Patrol there, right? I gotta get, I gotta, so I gotta do Tachnun. I gotta do Tachnun, right? And I gotta say, I'm sorry for all the things that they did wrong, so they let me get through. <laughs> you're, the, you're right, you're preparing for the Yitzhi. Yeah, you go, you go, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Now that's why, and then that's why in all shuls, after, you know, the, the second part of diving, they're very quick. They do it very quick. Why? Because they, 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 that's the Eight Sahara. Oh, well, listen, I got that seal, that's great. But they don't realize I should spend more time on the Volatia. Right? What are we asking Hashem in the Volatia, right? We ask Hashem, bring me closer to Torah, bring me. Well, look at all the beautiful things we're saying there, right? Right? And if we, if we spend the time, if we spend the time on the Tzvila, right? And then that's an amazing, amazing. Oh, any, anyway, that's not part of this lesson, okay? Uh, but do we understand the concept? It's all about pigeon, okay, guys? Okay? Okay, ki atvu of our peros trichin lesaknam biyose mechet other marishan. Right, if you think about it, right, where was the first sin? It was with a tree. Right, <laughs> there was a tree. Right, there was a tree in in Gan Eden, and Hashem said, "Don't eat from that tree." Right, she nechas biyose b'avodas hadama k'may shekosav arura hadama. Right, so we know Hashem cursed the ground, right? He gave the curse, right? 
And he said that with the by, by the the sweat of your brow, right? You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna earn your you'll earn your sustenance, right? But the question is, how do, are we are we connected to that? Do we connect ourselves to that curse? Right? But we're learning here that we can we can lift ourselves up from that curse. We don't have to be part of that curse. Because look, Misham, Bayim Kol Yegias Alamet Tes Malachas. That's where all that's where all the Lamet Tes Malachas come from. Where do we learn out the Lamet Tes Malachas from? Malachas Amishkan. You imagine before the Chet, you just throw like a mango seed in the ground and like. No, the tree was there. You don't need to give any. You'd have to put the seed in there. It was there. You want a mango? The tree was there. <laughs> Everything's there. It's all you want. It's all there. It was all there. It was growing. Everything was there. Adam didn't have to do anything. Not only that, he had a servant. <laughs> he had the nachash. Was his? It was his servant. You understand? Hashem set it up that the nachash was Adam's servant. Right? He was there to serve Adam and Chava. Yeah, he's the Nachash didn't. Him. No, the Nachash didn't like that. He says, "No, I want to." Ay ay ay! Shetzrichin lisyageya litroyach b'hem koydim shemevarchin hemevar matu of our parents. You have to, you have to do a lot of work, right? The farmers do a lot, a lot of work, right? They have to do planting, right? They have to do the, they have to do, they have to water it, right? They have to, they have to prune it and this and then and, and harvest it. It's a lot of work, right? When it comes it's to wheat, long time uh, I was living by my parents in the Moshav, and uh, I had this small little, like a small garden, like, and I started digging it. I wanted to do a zucchini field. Yeah, yeah. I was digging it up. I went to the neighbor with the wheelbarrow. I took the chicken manure. I put horse manure. I mixed it. I, I did like the most ashka you could do. Like you, you thought you're gonna pick like hundreds of kilos of zucchinis. I planted it. The thing started coming up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I didn't get one zucchini. The <laughs> flowers grew. The second the zucchini started, some kind of fungus attacked it. Wow. And on cherry tomatoes, the same thing, a different time. So it's fungus. like you can do wow. everything, and yeah. you're not guaranteed to not, get it. Yeah, Aru Adama. You're not guaranteed to get right. it. Right, the ground. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why you're an artist. <laughs> why? <laughs> you're not a farmer. <laughs> He tried, he tried. No, no, he tried. Still have a few trees no, he's there. sharing this now because I we just know, learned just, that we still did. have a few trees there. I have oh, a few olive doing? trees, a few orange. I have some. And, and did anything I'm grow? Did anything? Yeah, they see, grow. Oh, oh, oranges. See. Wow, see? Oh, it's not all cursed. Sometimes you get a brother. Oh, also. you got oranges. <laughs> wow, you got oranges, right? Olives. Wow. <laughs> My grandfather used to say, some days chicken, some days feathers. <laughs> <laughs> It's, they say in Hebrew, Yom Asa, Yom Batsa, no? Uh -huh. Sometimes your, your bag is full, sometimes just onions. Yeah, yeah, Batsa, <laughs> but yeah. All right, but onions are good too if you, you prepare them nice. Feathers. <laughs> he makes a nice pillow. He makes a nice pillow with feathers. It's okay. Can't eat them though. No, no, no. My sister-in-law has pomelo honey. trees. Oh, I says have a pomelo home. Honey. It's this big. Uh -huh. It's unbelievable. It's huge. One, one day, honey, one day, Where's honey? a tree? It's in her yard. Where is that? Renana. Oh wow, nice. Okay. Okay. She ikaram heim avodas adama sheheim mainim gedolim me avodas Hashem. These things can prevent us from serving Hashem, right? Because a guy could be a farmer, right? And then he looks at it. He says, "Hmm, that you sent this fungus over here, Hashem." <laughs> <laughs> you said if you would see this field of zucchinis. You'd see hundreds of kilos coming out of that in a, in a few weeks. Exactly, but now not even one, one not even we got the flowers, but you got the flowers. The flower came out though. The, the big, big yellow big flower, yellow right? Flower. The big yellow <laughs> flower. Yeah, I think the eye, no, yeah. The flowers are edible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's mining, it, it prevents us from our, in other words, if you don't understand that it, it's all coming from Hashem. Right, the guy thinks, "Hey, look, I got the right manure, and I checked the pH of the ground." Right, they check the pH, right, and they understand. They under There's a big science to it, right? How much pH? How much water? Right? How much? Uh, how much mineral? But the fungus come. But the fungus come. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you have it. That's it, exactly. Hashem protect us from all the bugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ayudei tzedaka shemachnia metzach anachash. Tzedaka is what's going to subdue the, the, the bite of the nachash. When I give my tzedaka, that means me closer to Hashem, right? Because again, every time I give tzedaka, I take from my own will 
and I can align my will with Hakadosh Baruch Hu's will, like we learned. Okay. That's how you can get out from, from the servitude and you could be freed, right? You could be freed from it. When you realize it's all Hashem and you don't trust in yourself, you trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, watch how things will change, right? He just told us his story, right? He says, Hashem, if I make myself, I want to give to the Boom, he makes his, you see that? Trust in Hashem. Trust in Hashem. The neighbor is getting to be the Adam. He attacks the most when it comes to the Avaid of the Adam. He asked, he asked, he didn't steal it. Hey, 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 hey. He didn't say either way, I'm just checking it out. No, come on, he didn't steal it. They were happy he was taking that stuff. You know, they have to clean it up anyway. He came along, he's cleaning it up for them. <laughs> Take as much as you want. <laughs> okay. They're not necessarily planting, right? Okay. I don't know if I want to eat the kitty that was planted with me. Okay, well, then, well let's go on. Let's go on. Balkane. Balkane. Tzivsa. Teure. Shetekev. Kekeshkoitzrim. Hatfua. Yitnu. Peyelaniyam. As soon as you're going to start, you're going out there to, to, to harvest now. Right? Koitzrim, right? You're going out there to harvest. Right away, give for the anim. You got to set it up right away before you start doing anything. Cordon off that field, section off that thing for the anim. I want to purify it, right? That, that, again, if the ground was, with, if the ground was uh, um, um, the cursed, right? So how do I, how do I, how do I, wait a second, how do I purify it? When I give my tzedakah first, Ah, that's purified. That's purified. Mizuma sanachash ulahamshich ola bechinas aras harotzen shikara yadei tzedaka is true tzedaka. Isn't that a beautiful idea? Wow, it's a beautiful idea, right? So the whole idea of peya. Why do we have that? Why do we have the bikurim? Because the ground was cursed. The fruits have a curse on them. But when I take, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I take the peya and I do and I give my tzedaka and I give my, I'm fixing it. You're putting it in the mikvah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Vechein bikurim tzrichin litein tekev kishem aschel apri lezbacher gamkein mitam for this same reason. Right? So like he said, you put your little, you, you, you cordon it off, you put a little bag over it or whatever you do with it, with that fruit, so it gets, it's, you protect it, right? That's how you, that, that's, that's the whole point of it. Bikurim heim yikorim oid yoiser. But the Bikurim, when you brought it, that was, whoa, that was amazing. Because now it's already finished, right? You brought the Bikurim. It was very, very yucker. It was very, very uh, precious. That's where you saw the most Haras Pnei Hashem. You saw the grandeur of Hashem in the Beis HaMikdash. You saw the miracles, right? There were no flies there. Right, there were no flies, and there was no everything. And the fire was burning; it was unbelievable. The shnei, the, the lechem, right? The lechem upon them were always fresh and hot. The, right, the can. Why, why are you looking? Why, what? You're thinking about it, right? It's amazing. You saw the main ha'aras Hashem. Pnei Hashem was at the base of Migdash. That's why you had the mitzvah riyah. Right, go up there and see the ha'aras Pnei Hashem. Because the rots and alien is the whole thing is ponim. And when did you bring it up? You brought it up in the time of Shuas, right? Because that is the day of Bikurim. When what do we learn about Shuas? That's the Shar Nun. That's the the fiftieth. That's the fiftieth gate, right? Shar, after we went, after we pre- pre- prepared ourselves during the Sfira. Right, and we climbed, we climbed, we left all the impurity, and we raised up the 49 levels. We come to, to this, and that, that's why we were bring it over then. is through the Ratzan. Again, how do you get to Hashem? Like we say, the Talmud Torah can get kulam, right? All of the mitzvahs, you have all those mitzvahs, but Talmud Torah is can get kulam, right? Talmud Torah is, is weighted as all of them. Why? Because again, the whole point is to get to the Ratzan Hashem. Right, to get to Hashem. So someone shouldn't think, if I'm doing so much chesed, I don't have to learn Torah. No, you have to learn Torah also. You need to learn Torah. Torah is better. Torah in their Eretz, right? Torah in their Eretz. All right? Uh, uh, um, 
Bebechina Zokin in Nisui Ponim, right? When we know that that the the, the, the Chazal tell us that on true that when when I, we saw when when it came to Kabbalah Satayra, we recognized Hashem in some kind of an image as an old as an older person, right? As an older uh, patient, as an older uh, an older compassionate person. Right, bechina saratzon k'moishe kasu sham nimsa shepeya bikurim heim bechina tzedaka shenaisdim ba askolas tikin tuah. So now we understand this, right? Now we understand this. Every morning you say those you say those words, right? Eilat zvarim shem la mshia peya ba bikurim right. We go we listen to this. So things. now you understand why we're saying that every morning, because every morning I'm trying to get to my rotzon. It's too bad I've been skipping that part. What do you mean you skipped it? I don't really say that so much. Hmm. What's that name was? We go straight to the... What? We put the shachar and... Uh, What's that? I, the English. What is it? Every morning, after you say the, 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 the blessings on the Torah, right. right? So then you list all... You have a list oh, well, of no, things no. that there's no measure. Right. There's no right. measure, right? So that's why you're reading that list every morning. That's why it's so important. Yeah. You understand? Because that's how I recognize. Wow, the payer, that's how I'm going to fix my whole Adama. That's how I'm going to... Wow, and the Bikurim, wow, how beautiful the Bikurim was. Wow, I wonder how amazing it was, Peah. Huh? You see that? You see that? That's what we got to learn, Lakute Allah. You see that? Yeah, okay. They're nice and betrilas, betikun atfu. That's why you bring it, you bring it in the beginning, you bring it in the beginning. That's why you say that in the beginning of the day. Right, you know, they didn't tell you to say that during Mincha, right? They tell you to say that in the morning, right in the beginning of the day. When you're starting your day, bring the Ratzin into your day. Bring HaKadosh Baruch into your day, right in the very, uh, very beginning in the morning. Today, Liz, guys, the Ratzin, Baal, Kain, Ein, Lohem, Shia, Ki, Ratzin, Ein, Lai, Shia. So now you understand why there's no measure when it comes to these mitzvahs, right? In that list of things, there's no measure, right? There's no measure to all of these things. No, no measure. Why? Because there's no measure to my Ratzin. How much do I want to get closer to Hashem? And all of those things are there only to bring me closer and to remind me of Hashem. Is that amazing? Come on. Isn't this a, it, it's, it's an amazing lesson, right? How you're taking these mitzvahs that, that people don't even think about. Right? But we say it every day. It's there. It's there in the city every day. Right? It's there every day. Why is it there every day? Because again, I need to increase my rotson and I need to increase my relationship with Hashem Via the situation of that day, whatever the situation is of that day, I need to get closer to Hashem. Okay, Zebechinas Varayan Shuhu Mitzvah Shleish Upam Bashana Yehra Kol Zechurcha Es Pnei Hashem Lekecha. Right, there were three times in a year. Right, the Shalosh Regal. Right, when it came to when it came to Sukkot, Pesach, and Shuvos. Right, you had to every, all the Jews would go. Uh, would go and they, uh, yeah, yeah, it was unbelievable. I went on, anyone ever went on Dera Chavot over here? Yeah. Yeah. Over there, yeah. in, in the Veda Neo yeah, over there, yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 it's unbelievable, right? So there's a junction there that you could see where the, where the Jews, we used to come, that road was there for thousands of years. That's what they, they did on the Regal from there? That's yeah, what they, that's what they were doing, they were taking that road, yeah, it's unbelievable. And there's a, there's a mikveh there. You can yeah. see the mikveh there, it's, I'll take it <laughs> if you want. There? No, there's no, 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 no. There's a special. No, there's an old mikveh there that's uh, who knows how many thousands of years old, right? And 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 it, it, they they have it there, and you could see that there were two the two staircases. There were two staircases. One staircase, they say, the people used to go in there. They were impure. They would go in this way. They would go through the mikveh. They would come out. So that way, people wouldn't be bumping into each other. Get the tumor. The tumor again from the other guy coming down the stairs. Wow, nice. <laughs> so he went in this way, went out that way. Unbelievable, right? We should make a mikveh like that today, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, they should open up the mikveh here in this shul, right? <laughs> Well, we have a nice water fountain outside. We have a nice one. To remind you that one day there'll be a mikvah. <laughs> and we have what, a are they, what are they opening the mikvah? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. But okay, okay, that's another thing. Okay, that's another thing. Okay. Okay. The whole idea of mikra kodesh, right? It's holiness, holiness. The whole thing of the Yom Tovim is Mikra Kodesh. Right? Like we say in the Kiddush, right? Mikra Kodesh, right? We have to say those words, right? And when it comes to the Chag, you say Mikra Kodesh. 
Right, the whole idea is a, it's a calling of holiness. So it's all about the rotsan. Hey, the okay, the alkain. Tzrichin oz la alloy se lireis le beis hamigdash es pnei Hashem le kabel asarot se rotsan shul bechinas pnei Hashem hameyeh be beis hamigdash be yaisa. The the, the aras of pnei Hashem, the, the light and the grandeur of Hashem, show, it was shining the brightest in the beis hamigdash. It was shining the brightest. And that's why the world is so against us being on the Temple Mount. See that? <laughs> of all the places in the world, right? Of all the places in the world. They said, no, they, they need that one. Right? They need that. Why? Because <laughs> it's the greatest place. They know it. Obviously, right? Do they really know what's going on. Uh, wh- are they doing all this why are they so against? Are they doing all this deliberately? To, pr- to prevent, prevent the, us to bring the base of Mignesh? Yes. Why would they be against it? Don't because they because they'll be out of business. Don't because once Mashiach comes, they know they're out of business. But don't they know everybody benefits? What but they, but they, they but they, 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 they don't they don't they don't they like they things the way it is. They like, they like it the way it is. Trouble. That's all chaos, they are. They're the nachash. They want chaos. It's the nachash. Yeah. That's why they're so much so much against it. Al Kain, Al Kain Gam Harayon, Ain Loy Shia, and that's why that's on the list. That's why that's on the list. I can see the base of Migdash. The more I look at the base of Migdash, the greater it is. The Gemara says if the going knew what it did when the Jews learned Torah, they would have Shomrim by the door. I know, I so know. So if the Gemara is saying that, it means that they don't know what, what the base of Migdash does. But, they, but they, this is the opposition on the other side. They die, they don't want... They're, they're part of the Eight Sahara. The Eight Sahara that knows when, he, when, when Mashiach is going to come, he's going to be slaughtered. Now, I don't want to, he doesn't want to be slaughtered. I, I, I want to be, he doesn't want to be slaughtered, so he keeps working. These guys are all working for him. So there the Harat Ratzon is shining down. Yeah. And you don't need to do any pinjol, it's just shooting down on you. <laughs> <laughs> but if you go see it, if you could see it, right? Yeah. Oy, v'arotzen ein loy shia. V'arotzen ein loy shia. There's no shia for the rotzen. Ain't no shia for the rotzen. There's no end. There's no end. No end. No, no, I remember. I, listen, we have a couple more. I remember years ago, uh, when it was about five years ago, I, I told my wife that I wanted to have an apartment in Yerushalayim. I wanted to have an apartment in Yerushalayim. So, uh, so she said, uh, well, if you can have an apartment in Yerushalayim, it has to be like in the center. Okay, that's what she told me. That's what she, so I said, okay, fine. <clears throat> so, so I went out and I saw an apartment on, on Hanavim. And I went out onto the Marpeset and I saw her bias from the Mar- Marpeset. So I said to the realtor, I said, I'll take the apartment. I had no idea how I was going to pay for it. <laughs> I had no idea. I said, I'll sign. Where's the contract? I want to sign. <laughs> Baruch Hashem, we wound up buying it. It worked out. It all worked out. I have no idea till today how it worked out, but it worked out. <laughs> it worked out. And, and why? When I saw that, I was, I was thinking about this lesson. Wow, I can have, I can have a place to live, and I can just walk on the on, on the mountains, and I see that at the right there, right there, right there. One day, one day, one day. Is there all gemilas chasadim? Shul klal kolat tzedakah shekluim begemilas chasadim. All kind, all forms of tzedakah. Are f- uh, f- fit into the idea of gemilas chasadim, right? Doing kind acts, kind acts, right? Doing kind act means give money, help people, do things. All all forms of charity are considered are in under the umbrella of gemilas chasadim. Can we say it like that? Is that a good way to say it? the umbrella of uh, chaz- uh, gemilas chasadim fits all kind of tzedakah, all kind of things? Sheikara b'shvila rotzayin the alkain ein loishir. Therefore, there is no end. There's no. There's no. Uh, um, there's no um, uh, no measure. There's no measure, right? You can give as much, do as much as you want. The the chol zeh who b'shvil liskais lekabolas satayra may chodesh b'chol yain, and therefore we can have a kabbalas satayra new every day. That's and that's why we say birchas Torah every day. We're accepting the Torah every day, anew, right? Every day I accept the Torah anew. V'zeh v'tal matayra she'ain loy. Um Lai Gam Kane Shir, Ki Ika Kabolas Lara De Shlemas Aratsan, Shain Lai Shir, the whole thing is when I learn Torah and I learn Torah for the purpose of getting closer to Hashem. I want to learn the Ratsan Hashem. I want to understand the words of Hashem, the Dvar Hashem. So when if I study Torah that way, that's the greatest thing to bring me to the Ratsan Hashem. And therefore there's no end to that also. 
That's why we say this Mishnah every day. You see that? We have to remember to say that now, huh? right? We're learning, right? We could say, Hashem, I didn't, remember, I didn't know this before. Uh, Hashem, I'm sorry, but now I want to say it, right? It doesn't take that long. It's just another 30 seconds. It's just a 30, come on. In a beautiful way, you're saying a Mishnah. You're saying a Mishnah. It's unbelievable, right? You're saying a Mishnah, right? Look at this is Rashi. Everyone, everyone likes Rashi, right? Everyone likes Rashi, right? What's so funny? What's so? What, what you say is Rashi, Rashi. This is a Rashi. Said this is a pshash. <laughs> he likes that. It's Rashi. Kilo ayoyim ato oyim made al har Sinai. I'm standing here in our Sinai today. You ever think of that? This is what Rashi says to do every day. I'm saying birchas adar. I'm standing on our Sinai. Wow, wow. Kamei shomru. Asher anoichi metzavach ha'ayoyim, like we say in Shema, right? Asher anoichi metzavach ha'ayoyim, as you're commanding me today, hayom, new and today, today, hayom. What does hayom mean? Today, Hashem, you're commanding me today, hayom. V'chol yom yia doim be'bei necha kichadoshim v'chein harbei. There's so much more to talk about this idea. Okay, let's just finish the paragraph if we can. Therefore we say every day. Now you know why you're saying Because every day you have to feel like you're at Hasinai again, accepting the Torah again. And every day I take apart, I want to get the Ratzon. So I say the Mishnah of of the Shira, of, of, um, I say that Mishnah every day because I want to connect to the Ratzon. Every day. Hashem, you're giving me the Torah. Yisbarach, Naisin, Lanu, Atayra, the Chol Yoyim Echadash. Hashem is giving us the Torah every day anew. Every day anew. Isn't that beautiful? Every day it's new. V'yikorei ayadei hischachus ha-rotza. And how do you get the Torah each day when you have hischachus of your rotza? When you, when you renew, when you renew your desire, when you renew your, your will to be, to, to connect my will to Hashem's will. That's how you get it. I have to do this every day. You can look it up in, in lesson 51, right? In the book of wisdom. You, if you want to understand more about this, you can take out the, the BRI book. It's called wisdom lesson 51, right? 51. That we know that each person is special and unique by himself, right? Every person is unique and special by himself, right? Every single person, every Jew is special. So the same thing is so is every day. Every day is so unique. Every day is so special. Every day. No day is connected, connected to the other day. We know every single day, and specifically in the morning, the Nisham is renewed, like we spoke about, right? Every day you get that new Chelek HaNeshama. Right, bechinas chadoshim la bekorim. Rabbi Manasecha, the words from the from from Eicha. Right, tzrichin lischazik berotzin chadosh the kedusha. Every day you have to renew yourself and have a new rotzin, a new desire, a new will, a new wanting to get closer to Hashem. Chazei ikara ikar. That's the main thing. Bechinas kabbalas satara bechol yom. Every day is an aspect of kabbalas satara. That's why we say Birchas Atari every day. And the same way I have no measure of, of how close I want to get to Hashem, there's no measure with these mitzvahs, right? There's no measure with the mitzvah of Peah, there's no measure with the mitzvah of, 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 uh, of, uh, of Bikurim, the mitzvah of Gemilas Chasodim, seeing the grandeur of the Beis Amigdash, Ryan, right? Talmud Torah, right? That's the main Kabbalah Satara, Mechadash, every single day. We should all be Zaycha to say this Mishnah every day, 
Bezrat Hashem, we should all say this Mishnah every day and try to infuse in ourselves a new Ratzon, a new connection to Hashem as we say those words. Recognize why we're saying those words, that the same way that those words have no... It is, it, 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 Wait a second, that the same way that those mitzvahs have no end, there's as much as you want, the same way uh, my, I'm no, uh, I, I, there's no comparing myself to anyone else, to anyone else, everyone's special, today is special, every day we have to connect to Hashem in, in, in a new way, we should all be have a wonderful day, Kol Tuv.